everyone. Welcome to Zion Vacation Bible School. Now, I know you might not uh, particularly enjoy online learning, but we wanted to say um, as a church and as a community, we thank you for doing what you're doing with your kids. Um, I know that a lot of people are struggling um, through what's going on right now, and you're trying to teach, and you're trying to be a mom or a dad, and you're trying to cook them meals, and you're trying to keep them occupied, and they're not allowed to do things that they used to be able to do. So from me to you, thank you for what you're doing. Um, you are so appreciated right now. Um, as a teacher, and I think I can speak for anyone, um, we appreciate what you're going through, um, and we hope that we can be get back to um, what we'd love to do um, as VBS teachers, as well as a lot of us um, are public school teachers. Um, we miss our kids, um, and hang in there, parents. You can do it. So this video is just a basic overview of what you can do with the packet that we've made for you. Um, basically, each day, um, you'll get a packet that looks sort of like this, and it has a cover sheet, and it gives you the Bible point, the Bible story, the Bible verse, and you can try to memorize that Bible verse with your child, obviously depending on their age. Um, some, some of your children might be old enough just to memorize to be a good friend, but some of them might be able to memorize that, that Bible verse from John 15, 12, and recite the whole thing, and that can be their challenge, and you can reward them. However you want to do it, do it that way. It's totally up to you. Also, they're set up for different activities for a day at a time. But you can do them all summer. You can do one activity a week for the whole summer. Um, there's science, there's crafts, there's games, and there's a snack. So you could choose to do it like we do, where we do all, everything in one day and it has an overall theme. Um, but you can do it whatever fits your family best. That's what we're trying to, to stress to you, that um, you, you do what you need to do for your family. Um, the next part is the, the story. So on your cover sheet, it'll tell you the passage that the story would primarily take place from. And typically, um, we would have a Zion elder or a Zion um, wise guy like our pastor. Um, you know, he knows a lot about the Bible. He would explain it and break it down for the children. And I would consider myself not very strong in that category. Um, and some of you might feel that that way, too. And that's OK. Take the story and tell your kids what you got out of that story. Um, YouTube the story and see what others have come up with their art and their video to put the story together. I use YouTube a lot for um, children to explain stories to them because they can visually see what's going on and what they're supposed to learn. But overall, just show them that God's love runs deep and that it's through you and through him and that sort of thing. So again, do this however you want to. Um, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me. Um, I am coaching a little bit, but I will be available whenever you need um, by phone or by email. Um, you can text me also. My contact information is available on the website on the contact sheet. Um, if you have, if a link isn't working or you can't, can't access something, or maybe you just want the kids um, to talk to me, I don't know, just give me a call. I am available um, however you need me to be. The last thing that is important that you might need to know um, is all of this information can be found on Zion's Facebook page or Zion's website. Um, I haven't really decided how I'm going to organize it, but I'm going to try and make it as easy as possible for you guys. Um, I know that it will be a Google link, and each day has its own link, its own file. Everything will be on one document along. Um, I'll have the links for these videos on YouTube. And the last thing that we really want you to focus on, um, in the past we've done Penny Wars. Um, and it's kind of hard right now to do penny wars as our uh, as our focus. So uh, with talking, um, I've talked to a lot of people in our church and people around. Um, and my Sunday school class has done an activity called a prayer chain. So each week at Sunday school, each student would talk about one person or one thing that they would want to talk about. Um, and I would talk about how we could pray for them and how we can help these people or these things. And we ended up taking slips of paper and writing that person or that thing on that list and then you staple it to the next and then it becomes this big long chain that you'll see an awesome picture of that we've already started to create. Um, so we have a goal as a church to make this chain longer than the length of our church. So however that looks to you, if you want to, if you're getting a paper packet, you'll receive slips of paper that you can um, write them down and mail them back to us or make a chain at home. 
make a chain at home and hang it from your door or hang it from your kitchen window and add on to it so that it, it'll show your children the importance of prayer and the people that you pray for um, and everything that you could be praying for right now. Um, I know that it's been really good for me during quarantine um, to set some time aside for myself. Um, so as a parent or as an older um, student of Vacation Bible School, I'm asking you from me to you, I would like you to take a few minutes for yourself just to talk to God, even if it's two minutes praying to him um, to make this world a safe place for you to grow up in or um, praying for a certain person who may be sick or, or may be in financial hardship. Um, take that time for yourself. Um, parents, it's really important that you um, stay well here too. I know you've been focusing a lot on your kids, but um, if you need anything at all, also please feel to reach out to me or to Pastor Jim or anyone in the community um, or the church um, and we would like to help you. Uh, just let us know how we can do that. So again, if you have any questions, um, I would look at that Facebook page or the website to see if it can be answered. Um, if not, send them to me, email me, text me, call me. Um, I'm there for you. I have your back. And like I said, use this material however you want. And we wish you a really great summer. Bye.